If you have been wanting to bulk list your eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, Etsy items, um, Nifty AI is how I've been doing it. So I want to show how to bulk list and list quickly on any or all of these platforms at once. I use the software nifty.ai. It is a website. It works both on your phone and on your desktop. So it basically looks like this. It copies to all five of these websites. And I'm just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to bulk list. So this software can actually do a bunch of things. I have a couple videos on my uh, channel about it. I'll put a little link up here in the right corner of, of like a, everything the software can actually do video. In this video, I'm just gonna show bulk listing. And, um, but I manage my whole reselling business with this software. So this software actually can be a whole business management tool. Um, it's very cool and can do a lot of things. But for right now, I'm gonna show you how I list very quickly on both or all Poshmark, eBay, Macari, Depop. Uh, it does do Etsy. I do not have Etsy connected right now, but you can uh, use this for Etsy as well. Um, if you want to see stuff, if you want to see me using Etsy, let me know and I'll link my Etsy store to it and I'll do some listings over there. Um, but this software has different price points to it depending on what your needs are. It can be anywhere from $39 a month to $89 a month. Um, it can even probably be a little bit more depending on if you need to buy credits. Um, so there's different price points depending on what works for you and how many listings you're going to do a month. And there's a whole page on their website that tells you about that. Um, but for now, I'm gonna show you how I list on here. Right now, these are the listings in all of my stores. And if I was just starting out my day and I want to list some items, um, I you can list items individually. So you can hit this up in the right corner, add item, and that will list one item for you. Or you can bulk generate, which is what I'm gonna show today. Um, and you can list a bunch of items. I'm just gonna show two, but if you had four or five, 10, it would work for all of that as well. So when you bulk generate, you generate using AI, um, and it pretty much does 90% of the work for you. Um, so for each item, you can add 24 photos. Uh, Depop does not hold that many, so it will cut you off. You choose five photos that the AI is gonna to read to describe your item, but all your photos will populate. Like if you have 20 photos or 10 photos for eBay, um, they'll all go into your eBay listing, but the software is gonna look at the first five photos to kind of make decisions on what it's gonna write for you. And you can change all that too. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, uh, you know, say different things, you can. But you add items, you add a little bit individually. You don't drag all of your photos, like all 200 of your photos in here. So it's this is item one. So take your photos for this one. Let's add some photos here. Really quickly. Here we go. And that's how fast it loads photos. So obviously they're not in the right order. Let me just, for some reason, these just didn't go over. So for the first five photos, I want something that shows back front, brand, material tag. Um, maybe I'll do a close up. Maybe it'll find something. This is a very simple windbreaker, so there's not gonna be too much to show on this. Um, this is going to, you can choose if you don't want it to go on a certain marketplace. Like if you don't want it on Poshmark, you can unclick it. Um, you can see Etsy's not even turned on right now. So depending on where you want it, you can keep it off of the sites. I'm, I'm gonna keep it off of Poshmark for right now. Um, just for different reasons. I have some different things I'm doing with Poshmark and cleaning up my store. So it's gonna go on eBay, Macari, and Depop for right now. This is a woman's item. Um, and that's all I'm going to do for this. Everything else is going to get sorted out later. And then if I want to add another item, I just click add another item and let's upload those photos really quickly. There we go. And just like that, the photos are ready to go. This is an Adidas jacket. 
And uh, once again, I'm not going to have a go on Poshmark. I'm going to have a go on everything else. This is a men's jacket. And that's it. That's all I really need this to do right now. If I want to keep adding and adding and adding, you can click add another item, add another item. You can go on and on and on until you do all your listings for the day. Then you will click this button on the bottom right corner that says generate. And then it'll tell you how many items. This is two items. You have 10. It'll say 10. And it'll use the AI to write the title for you, description, fill in all the details. Um, it's really nice. It just saves you a lot of time on having to do this one by one. And you can kind of get on with your day and find more products to sell. So what it does is it saves it in your drafts. So once they're both done now. Once they're done, you can go to your drafts page, which is kind of cool. So let's just say you want to upload. Um, am I in my drafts page? Oh, I am in drafts. Okay, so I am in drafts, but let's say I had something else to do today and I didn't want to list actually make these live. Like I could come back and I could go back to my drafts and I could slowly list them. Like let's say one day I put up 90 and I'm going to dole them out through the week. You know, I'm going to click on so many a day and make those live but so i can select both of these if i want to or i can do one at a time however i want to do it i think i'm going to do this will i just need to go into the listing what do i need to do again oh i just need to click on that item okay so here's my listing let's see how it did the ai did Merrill Windbreaker Jacket, Lightweight, Packable, Raincoat, Blue. Let's see, size, medium. I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to put, let's see, Merrill Windbreaker. And I'm going to put here, Woman's Medium. I just kind of like to format my listings like that. So sometimes I'll change a little something and that will actually change it. So the first item details here, that'll change it on all of the sites for me. So Depop, Macari, eBay. This is going to be like the main hub for what it's going to say in all the description boxes, all the titles. Now I can go in and individually change it in each store if I want to. Um, as I scroll down, you'll see where I can do that. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much that. So, But this is the main area. So I want to make sure everything here is right. Polyester fabric type. Um, it's not really mesh. Take out fabric type. I don't like too much info and in things. It just like overwhelms the customer, I think. Um, and then I'm just going to add something here at the top that says something like um, pre owned. Nice shape. Pre owned. Nice shape. No rips. No stains. Great for hiking, easy, packable. This is a super like lightweight hiking jacket, so it's good for those features. Excellent shape. Price for this is going to be $24.99. Um, and then we have this button here that says shipping presets. This is really important for the sites, every site but Poshmark pretty much. Um, this you fill out in settings, so when you first set up um, Nifty AI, you can set up shipping presets, so it'll always do like the same price. Like I have flat shipping set up on eBay um, and also Depop, so when I click on here, I can just say shipping is it's 10 ounces. This jacket's really lightweight, so it's going to set up the shipping for me. Um, so this is what it looks like in settings. You go in here and you add presets and your pricing and how you want it to look. Like you can see my 10 ounces on eBay is $5.99. I do flat shipping. I do one business day. And it's just kind of set up. And then same thing for Macari. I have it set up where all the sites, the shipping's taken care of. And I mostly use 10 ounce, 2 pounds, and 13 ounces. Like I do jeans and tops. That's basically what I sell. So just make sure you set that up. Just It makes your life significantly easier when you're doing this because it's going to auto fill in. Like if I leave this blank, it's going to be blank on all of my stores. So just keep it filled in. And then when I pick 10 ounces, it's going to auto populate down here. You're going to see um, 
so here's Poshmark. Um, oh, Poshmark's still on this one. Well, I'll show Poshmark on here. It's fine. Um, oh, it looks like it clicked off on Depop. Okay, so Depop. Depop's missing. If it's good to go over here on the left, you'll see a check mark on each one. If it needs something added, like Depop needs something added, um, it's gonna not have that check mark. So I have to add something really quick on Depop. That's all. Um, so for Poshmark, that the one the shipping thing doesn't matter on Depop or on Poshmark. That's the only one it doesn't matter on. Um, I'm taking Poshmark off. Like I said, I don't want to list it over there. Um. So this is where it kind of matters here. So blue jacket, woman's windbreaker, polyester, flat. You can see all this is set up now because the shipping preset was set already. Just make sure you do that. It just makes, it's, trust me, it's going to make your life easier. Allow best offers. Yes, you can, when you're setting up Nifty, you can set all this up for yourself. Um, and then you can just check things and make sure things are right. It, the AI does a very good job. Every once in a while, I'll catch a little something, but nothing, you know, you just have to look it over. Don't just like zoom through the whole entire thing. Um, then Makari, this is such a lightweight jacket. Is there anything less in shipping price? Hmm. I don't know. It looks, I thought maybe Makari shipping went up. Um... Depop. So let's see the parcel size. This should have automatically filled on there when I put in the thing. So I'll have to check that to see if it's not set up right. Uh, okay, so $5.99 shipping. All of that is filled out. And then it, this is going to list on eBay, Depop, and Macari. Um, and it's just that simple. So this is going to be for the one item and then you go in and do the next item. So list item and you'll see right where this goes just a second here okay so it shows me it's listed on all of these sites and you could view any of the listings you want to view but back to inventory here it is over here you can see it's not on Poshmark but it's on all these other sites and if I want to go and add it to Poshmark I can just click on this it's going to like fill out all the things and I can go ahead and list it really quickly on a Poshmark if I want to. And um, so let's go back into drafts. Let's do this one. Let's see. If, just do this one quickly because you kind of see how it works now. Uh, click on this. Adidas zip, full zip hoodie, heathered burgundy training jacket active. The only thing I like to change is how they do the sizing. Um, which in this one... It appears they left out so that's actually good so this one is a size large men's and I'm just gonna add it right here men's large okay so it's under sweatshirts and hoodies and then I'm gonna say something quickly about this one uh, nice shape missing drawstring so any kind of note you need to make this is a good place to do it Cotton blend, men's red, jogging, zip. Okay, looks good. Uh, size, some, some reason it didn't pick up sizing. Uh, let's make this $19.98 for price. Shipping preset. This one is over a pound. So I'm going to put shipping two pounds. There we go. All the shipping is going to be set. So if I left this just to show you guys. Okay, I'm leaving it blank. I don't have my shipping presets set up. Every time I come down, oh, it auto-filled because I'd already clicked on it. Okay, well, that would have been blank. <laughs> but I think because I already clicked on it. Um, so it's going to have the flat price in. Everything's set there. Really, I can just scroll down now. I could check all this, but I know it's probably right. This is where I just look and make sure it looks right. Okay. And then list item. This one I accidentally did on Poshmark because I wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. Um, and now it's going to be on all the sites that quickly. So this is a really cool software. Um, if you want to give it a try, I do have an affiliate link for it. I love it. I use it for my business all the time. That's why I keep showing it just because I find it so helpful. You can use, it's the same, um, my co coupon code is, if you go to their site right now, nifty.ai, 
they are giving a seven day free trial. You get so many credits, so depending on how fast you use all their credits, um, you'll be able to try them out. And if you use my code, which is the same as my YouTube name, Hustling Hacks, um, I'll put a link in my description for it so you can just link yourself there really easily. I actually will get um, a little affiliate link and it'll help support my channel and you'll get 15% off of your first month, um, depending on what plan you choose. And yeah, it's a great software. If you have questions or you want to see other features that the software can do, leave me a comment and I'll either answer the comment by answering it or I'll make another video about it. Um, thanks so much. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.